I've always loved these islands. One of my favorite places in the world. And I had a dream to try to get out and back to Cat Island in a day. So I left right and early around five o'clock. Got to watch an awesome sunrise. Just enjoy some of the peace and quiet of a beautiful morning. Made it out to Raspberry Island about seven o'clock. slowly made my way across over to Bear. Still amazed by the glassy calm water. I pushed from Bear over to Outer Island. First time I'd been there in a few years, so it was great to be back. I'm continuously amazed by God's creation. Just so incredible. The colors, the smells, the sounds. Truly a masterpiece of colossal scale. wanted to do this trip for a while, but since camping was closed due to 2020 being what it was, I knew the only way I could do it was try to find an ideal day and just make the push for it. Pushing off the north end of Otter Island, I went all the way over to Ironwood. This was my first time at this island, and I was not disappointed. Taking a little shower in that waterfall, I decided to head over to Cat Island. You can see Devil's Island off to my left in the distance there. Pardon me, you can see North Twin. Far enough east that that's North Twin Island. But I finally made it, I can't tell you how exciting that was finally get out there after a number of years of wanting to make it there I looked at it on Google Earth and mapped out the distance and what I wanted to see and I, I knew it looked like there were caves on the north end but, but I didn't know and I was thrilled to find there were so For a bit of time to cool off, I decided to take a swim. The waters were chilly as ever, but couldn't have been more refreshing. The clear blue water out there is something. Something not to be taken for granted. I've grown up around Lake Superior my whole life and I'm so thankful for the blessing that it is. So 
swimming around. I had no clue what I was seeing, but I could tell there was some sort of archway under the water that I couldn't see from above it. So naturally I had to try to swim through it. It was wild though. You couldn't even see it from above the water. These caves and all the other ones around the islands, what's underneath the water is many times just as cool, if not cooler, than what you can see above it. Knowing I was done, I decided to push on the rest of the way, knowing that my time uh, was running short if I was going to make it back before dark. The calmness and peace of that day is pretty hard to capture, but it was, it was a special day. There's not many days like that out on Lake Superior, especially that far out into the island. Making my way to the south side of Cat Island, I took a little break, stretched the legs, took another little swim, and then headed back south. Reaching Ironwood Island, this time I went all the way to the south side. There's a little sand spit down there. Took another minute to stretch the legs, grab a little snack, and then had to continue on the way. Reaching Manitou Island, I went over to the west side of it. And it's safe to say I was uh, pretty tuckered out at that point. Knowing the sun was still racing Toward the horizon, I decided to push on, headed down to the south end of Manitou Island to the old fishing camp. Enjoying another little snack and a quick look around at the historical buildings. I then pushed on over towards Oak Island. Feeling the need for a little 
dip in the water again, I decided to go for another swim. Having cooled off, I made my way over to the west side of Oak Island. And was still greeted with incredibly calm, beautiful, beautiful day. From here, I made my way back to Raspberry Island, where I had been only a few hours prior. This was the only time the wind picked up just a little, but still incredibly calm. Enjoying a drink of water and paddling into the setting sun, I headed over towards the south side of York Island. With only about two miles left to paddle. I got back in the boat and headed back toward Little Sand Bay where I started. And I know God was smiling down on me that day because that sunset was a perfect way to top off a fantastic paddle. I'm so thankful to my God and Creator for giving me the strength to be able to go and enjoy the beauty that He's created, be able to go paddle and enjoy Lake Superior. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. May God bless you.